Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing with you how our family celebrates Christmas. Now I realise Christmas is celebrated very differently in all the different cultures and that there are so many beautiful traditions that people follow. So I really don't want to detract from any of the traditions that you hold dear and that you follow. But the reason why I want to share with you how our family celebrates Christmas is that I remember how difficult it was to decide how to celebrate Christmas when my husband and I first got married and had children. We come from two different cultures and we had to try and find which traditions to continue and which traditions to set aside. We also realized how easy it was to get distracted by the tinsels and trappings as Dr. Seuss calls it. We love spending time with family, we love decorating our house, we love giving and receiving gifts, but we didn't want this to be the focus of our Christmas season. We really wanted Christ to be the center of our Christmas celebrations. But we were scared that if we made changes to the way we celebrated Christmas, people would think that we are mean-spirited and our children would become resentful because they didn't have all the fun traditions that other children had to celebrate Christmas with. And so this is what we've come up with to keep Christ the center of our Christmas celebrations. Firstly, during December, Whenever I read the Bible stories to our children that I would read every evening, I make sure that the Bible stories that I read are about Christmas and about the birth of Christ. And I read it from all the different Bible story books that we have and from the Bible itself to my children in the evening. So that they really know what the whole Christmas season is truly about. Every year the children make new angels to decorate the Christmas tree with. In this way, we're taking away a lot of the Santa Claus decorations every year and we replace them with angels on our Christmas tree. This reminds us of the angels singing worship songs to the shepherds out in the fields on the night that Jesus was born. Over the years, we've created more and more angels and so we can almost decorate our tree entirely with the angels that the children have made. I also make putting up the nativity set a big focus of our Christmas season. So we have quite a few sets and I put them up around the house. But I don't see these nativity sets as decorations, rather as toys that the children can play with. In this way they feel free to act out the Christmas story many times a day and even add some of their own toys if there are not enough characters in the original nativity set. We have decided to move opening presents, having Christmas stockings and the Christmas meal away from Christmas Day on the 25th of December and rather celebrated on the 16th of December, which is a public holiday in South Africa. This has been the most controversial change that we have made in our family, but it has had so many positive consequences. On Christmas Day, the focus is no longer about presents and food and family, but it can really be about Christ and going to church and just celebrating the real reason for the season. Our children don't feel resentful about seeing other children with their presents on Christmas Day because they've had a long time to play with their presents already. Soon as we live in South Africa, it is our summer holidays over the Christmas season. And this means that our children can open their gifts towards the beginning of the holiday and play with them throughout the holiday before they need to go back to school in January. It has also meant that our extended family can come and open gifts with us on the 16th of December and then spend time with other families on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Day, we really try to focus on the reason for the season. So we go to church in the morning and we help out as much as possible. We are there early and we come back late and we try to make the day special for the people that do attend church. Also, a lot of the people that would usually help at church are either away with family of their own or are having a really busy time. So all the help that is available is really appreciated. So on Christmas Day, we have a big barbecue and everyone that does not have family and friends, either from our church or from our community, are welcome to come and spend the day with us. We find that this is a great way to spread some of the love that God has given us. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I know when my husband and I were first trying to decide how we would like to celebrate Christmas, it was very helpful to listen how other people did it. And I encourage you to really make Christ the center of your Christmas this year. See you again next week. Bye. Make my life a prayer to you. I want to do what you want me to.
to